right, so we are taking on the Hurricanes. So you know what that means. It's time to view their lines. Let's see what the Carolina Hurricanes are working with this season. So their top line of Tevu Teravine, Sebastian Ajo, and uh, Zvechnikov. Not a bad first line. I think we do take them on their first line. Their second line, Patrick Marlowe, Nita Ryder. So I do think we take them on their second line as well for the most part. Third line, Fogel, Jordan Stahl, and Zingle. So we got Eric Stahl playing his brother, Jordan Stahl. And then a fourth line of uh, Brock McGinn, Vincent Trocek, and Jesper Fast. On defense, they have Slavin and Hamilton, uh, Pesci and Brady Shea, and then Vlasic and Flurry. So they did make some changes on their defensive core. Um, in net, they have James Reimer and Peter Mrazek. Looks like James Reimer will be getting the start. And scratch, they got Martin Martinuk, uh, Gardner scratched, and Jake Bean. So a good Carolina Hurricanes team. I do think overall we do have a better team. With that being said, I think we're going to leave the lines the way they are. The team is absolutely working. Since we made those line changes, we've won three games in a row. So I feel like it would make sense just to keep it the way it is. Um, worst case, if we want uh, to spread out the wealth with Crosby and Malcolm, we could throw Malcolm down here with Granlin. Um, so we have our options here. It's time to take on the Carolina Hurricanes again. Uh, we are on the road to start off the series, which is absolutely okay. So here we go. Game one in Carolina. Whew. Looking for a big start from this team. First period, it's a 1-1 hockey game. So Rude Wheel getting um, a goal. Um, he is a guy replacing Christopher Letang. And then Sebastian Ajo gets one back for the Hurricanes. Okay, second period. It's a 2-2 game. Brock McGinn gets one. And Miko Granlin, absolutely clicking on that second line, gets his uh, first of the game or of the series. And it's a shorthanded goal. So here we go. 2-2 game heading into a third. It's an even match. Shots were 20-20 at the end of two. Let's see what happens here. Power play, we kill it off. Good stuff. Another power play, not good stuff, but we do kill off both. Power play for us, can't convert on that. Six to go. We need someone to step up and be a hero. And it's the wrong stall that scores. And then Fogel scores literally a minute later. We're down four to two. Five to two. Patty Marlowe getting an empty netter. And the Pittsburgh Penguins lose game number one to the Carolina Hurricanes. Not the greatest. Jordan Stahl getting first start with a goal and an assist. Patrick Marlowe with a goal and an assist. And Mrazek, um, who did start this game, a 9-3-5 uh, save percentage. Um, not, a good start, not a good start from the Pittsburgh Penguins as we're moving on to game two. And Christopher Letang is back. Let's go. So that means we have to send down Rude Wheel, which kind of sucks. We He did score last game. Actually, we'll send down Rodriguez. We'll keep Rude Wheel up with the squad. Um, but we will throw Christopher Letang back into the lineup. So absolutely things you love to see. Our top defenseman coming back for game two. He was supposed to come back the 25th. He's back early. So good stuff here from this team. Game two here against the Hurricanes. Looking for a bounce back win. First period, it is 2-0 Pittsburgh. Sidney Crosby. And again, Miko Granlin just having himself a playoff. 2-0 Good stuff. Let's keep it going. Second period, 2-1. to one. They get one back. Slavin gets one back for them. So we need an insurance marker here to, um, you know, help out Casey to Smith here. 5-on-3 power play. We got to score. Jake Gensel, it's not on the power play. We do score. Miko Granlin getting another one. Kasperi Kapanen checking into this series. That second line is flying, and I am very proud of myself for acquiring Miko Granlin because he has been our best player this playoffs hands down Patrick Marlowe gets one back for them though and we end off the game with a 5-2 to two win so we lose game one 5-2 we win game two 5-2 huge stuff from the Pittsburgh Penguins three stars Gensel with a goal and assist Kapanen with a goal and assist and Mikel Granlin with two goals loving him on that second line loving him on this Pittsburgh Penguins team absolutely huge now we head to game three on home ice with the series tied 1-1 Kapanen leading the, the team with points yeah, uh, with 10, which is amazing in nine games. So good stuff from him. All right, game three, we are tied 1-1 with the Hurricanes. First period, it's a 1-1 hockey game. Tevu Teravainen gets a goal for them, and then Cody Cece gets his first of the playoffs, makes it a 1-1 game. We will take it. Second period, 1-1. Okay, this is an even game. We are heading to uh, third period, tied at one with the Hurricanes. I kind of like our odds here, but we will see. Only time will tell. Oh, we don't kill that off. We take we take a lot of penalties, to be fair. That's a power play goal from Svechnikov. He's going to score those. And then Martinuk 
gets one for them, giving them a two-goal lead. Uh, we need someone to try to cut the lead in, in half here, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Power play, which we will not be converting on, and we lose game three, three to one. So um, I don't know what's up with this Pittsburgh Penguins team. We don't like the string together wins in the first couple games, so we're down two to one at home. Again, I'm going to say what we said last series. We do not want to go down three to one heading to Carolina. We got lucky last series. Uh, we were able to overcome it. We don't want to do it again because I don't know if we'll be able to do it again. So here we go. First period. It's a one nothing hockey game. Sidney Crosby. Um, I think that's his first of this series. So good stuff from Sid the Kid. Uh, second period. 3-2. to two. Okay. Patrick Marlowe gets one. Christopher Letang gets one. Malkin also gets one on the power play. And then the Zingle gets one back to cut the lead to one. So we need that insurance marker here in that third period. We start off with taking a penalty. Absolutely horrible. We got to stop with that. We need an insurance marker. Kasperi Kapanen, he's having himself a playoff too. Makes it 4 2. Tanev gets another one, makes it 5 2. So a nice three goal insurance marker there from Tanev. Three to go. The Penguins looks like they will be taking game four. Jake Gardner gets one back as he fought his way back into the lineup. We win it 5 to 3. We make it a 2 2 series heading back to Carolina. Three stars, Tanev with a goal and assist, Kapanen with a goal and assist, and Crosby with a goal. So good stuff. Again, that third line is absolutely flying out there. 2-2, heading to Carolina. Let's keep it up, boys. All right, here we go. First period of Game 5. It's a 1-0 uh, lead for the Penguins. Kapanen just continuing to fly out there. 1-0 for the Penguins. Second period, make it 2-0. Sidney Crosby scoring one. We are getting outshot heavy. Lucky with a two-goal lead. I feel like we're going to need at least one more to win this game. So we either need tight defense or one more goal to win this game. Here we go, Pittsburgh. Looking to take a 3-2 series lead heading back home. It would be huge to win on the road here. 5-1-3 on power play, 5-4, on four, nothing going. So we don't get an extra goal there to kind of just make us feel more comfortable. Uh, less than five to go. Ajo gets one back. Oh, it's a one-goal game, and the Penguins hang on to win Game 5. They take the 3-2 series lead, and we're heading to Carolina with a 3-2 series lead. Casey DeSmith, 9-7 save percentage to win us that game. Beautiful. Mrazek gets second star, and Crosby gets third with that goal he had. I believe he had the game winner in that game. So we are heading to Game 6. We are up by one in the series. We want to close it out. We, don't, we do not want to go to another Game 7. And quickly, let's talk about Kasperi Kapanen. I know I said Granlin was having himself a playoffs. He's been quiet the past two games. But Kasperi Kapanen has showed up in every game. So yeah, Kapanen in 12 games has 13 points. Granlin has 10 in 12. He's a minus 5 for some reason. And Crosby's been having himself a playoff too. So we're looking to close out the series here on home ice. Let's do it. Here we go. First period in game 6. It's a 2-1 lead for the Carolina Hurricanes, we gave up a shorthanded goal, which isn't good. We do score a power play goal with Chris Letang, and then Dezingo gets a power play goal back for the Canes. So it's a special teams game here so far. Second period, 4-2. to two. Not good stuff. We give up two to Sebastian Ajo. Ajo. Matheson cuts the lead in half. Uh, we're down by two. We need a huge third period from this team. Um, I know Kapanen's been great. If he can continue doing what he's doing, we have a chance to win this back here. Um, but down 4-2, to two, 10 to go. We need one as soon as possible here, boys. And it looks like the Carolina Hurricanes are going to force a Game 7. They're playing great defensively here. And, yeah, Game 7 it is. Back to Carolina. We really wanted to close it out there, and we just couldn't. Ajo getting first star. Madison getting the second. And Mrazek with a 9-2-3 to help his team win that game. Not good stuff from the Penguins. And now John Marino is out with an injured groin. Okay. Again, another Game 7 where we're going to have one of our better defensemen out. Now, I'm fine with Rude Real playing. He's been playing great when he was called upon when Chris Letang was out. But Marino being out definitely hurts us. We're heading to Game 7. I don't think there's anything really that we need to change. The lines have been clicking. We could try Malkin on Zucker there, but I don't think it's right to make that decision in a Game 7. The team has been doing good. Um, 
you know, they've had their one-offs. Uh, I'm expecting a bounce-back win here. So here we go. First period, one nothing Carolina to put them up one nothing. Second period, two to one. Gardner gets one back, but Zucker gets one back there. Uh, we are down by one, heading into the third. We need a huge third period from this team. We're out shooting them, 31 to 15, and we're down three to one. Dougie Hamilton makes a 3 to 1, Fogel makes a 4 to 1 and it looks like the Pittsburgh Penguins season is coming to an end earlier than we wanted it to. Um hats off to Peter Mrazek, 37 saves. Uh make that 40 saves, 41 saves to this Pittsburgh Penguins team and we are sent home earlier than we want to be sent home. Peter Mrazek with a 0.976 save percentage. You're, there's really nothing you could do. Svetch with two assists, Gardner with a goal. It hurts. Uh, we we should have we should have taken it in Game Six, and I think because we didn't, we weren't rewarded in a Game Seven. And uh, fair enough. So the Pittsburgh Penguins are sent home early. Um, it sucks. Um, maybe we should have made more moves at the deadline. I'm not too sure, but uh, that is going to be it for this video. Sadly, we couldn't win a cup in year 2021. Um, we will see who wins the cup at the start of the next episode. And next episode will be the draft and time to resign a player. So, again, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.